Hi, welcome to another video uh, with Brintech Maths Department. Um, today we're going to be solving another problem in our numeracy booklet, which is the multiplication problem, 286 times 36. Now this is a problem that would be a normal reaction to grab for the calculator. We're going to look at a method that your sevens, your eights and your nines will everyone use, uh, which is called the, um, well it's referred to as the Russian box by the pupils, but normally we just call it the box method. It's used for long multiplication like this. We're going to start off by drawing a box. And the size of the box depends on the size of the sum. This here is a three digit question, uh, number times by a two digit number. We're going to need a three by two box. I'm going to write two, eight, six across the top. And down the side, I'm going to write 36. I'm just going to write the times here. Just remind myself that we're multiplying. To finish off our method, we're going to draw diagonals down to the box, and those diagonals will separate our tens and units. Now the sum we're going to do to start off is down in the bottom right hand side, which is 6 times 6, and the answer will go in this box here. So 6 times 6 is 36. We're going to write the 30 there, and the 6 there, so 36. The next sum is 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 80, so we will write our 10 there and our 8 units here. We're going to move on to 8 times 6, whose answer will go in this box. That is 48. Next is 8 times 3, which is 24. And we'll finish the rest of this box by doing 2 times 6, which is 12, and 2 times 3, which is 6. Moving on, this becomes quite difficult when adding up the um, diagonals. We're going to use these lines to help us um, figure out what we need to add. So here we're going to add this 6, then we'll move on to add these row of numbers here, then these numbers here, then these three numbers, and then anything at the top. So we'll start off in this diagonal here. This is just 6 on its own. There's nothing to add there, just the 6. In the next diagonal, we have 8, 3, and 8. 8, that 8 is 16, add that 3 there, that is 19. Now what we don't do is write 19 like this. In the adding video, whenever we go with 10, we tend to carry on the 10. So we're going to put the 10 in the next column. In this diagonal, we have 1, add 4, add 4, add 2, add 1. We have 1 and 4, which is 5, add the 4, which is 9, add that 2, which is 11, and this 1 here is 12. So I'm going to take that one away and write 12. Don't forget to carry on your 1. The next diagonal, 2 add 6 is 8, add this 1 is 9, add this 1 here is 10. Since there's a 0 at the top, we don't have anything to add, add except for this 1 here, so that gives us 1. I'm just going to write all these numbers out here that are on the side of the box. That's 1, 0, 2, 9, 6. This is our answer. If you would like to put a comma, you can count back three. That'll help you say the, word, uh, the number. That's 10,296. Now what's useful about this method is that if we had uh, multiples of 10, if we were multiplying multiples of 10, so for example, 28600 times by 360. Again, this looks very, very difficult. But all we need to do is take these numbers and multiply them to give us this number. And then we just need to add this many zeros on the end. Oh, oh, oh. And this number is 10,296,000. And that's it for multiplying. That's called the, that's the box method. And that's what we teach in Brintag. So thanks for listening. Good luck using it. Um, see you soon.